This morning, what's being called a mass migration effort. Two separate boats believed to be involved in sophisticated human smuggling operations washed up on our coast. Thanks for joining us at 6 a.m. Everyone, I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Nettie Irampuram. This happened yesterday, one in Carlsbad, another in Mission Beach. And the majority of the people on those boats got away. They remained free this morning. CBS 8's Chris Grow live in Mission Beach now to tell us what Border Patrol agents are seeing a change happening along our border, it seems, Chris. Yeah, year after year, we're seeing more and more people using the ocean to cross the border. In fact, we saw more than 30 people just my... yesterday make that really treacherous trip. Again, this could be dangerous as well, too, uh, as well as expensive. $20,000 at some at some point people pay uh, to be smuggled across the border using this technique. Now, yesterday, again, we believe more than 30 people use the ocean as a means to cross uh, into the United States of America. There were 17 life jackets found at the Carlsbad Beach yesterday. And then here in Mission Beach, lifeguards spotted at least 25 people making their way towards Mission uh, towards uh, Mission Boulevard. Now, here's the thing. Of those people that were believed, again, to have made those both either of those trips yesterday, five were apprehended. So again, there are still a number of them that are outstanding. Now, in our conversation with Border Patrol that we had yesterday, they tell us that in 2019, 660 migrants were apprehended off our coast, but last year were more than 25 apprehensions made at our local sector out at sea. And of course, this comes at a time of record breaking apprehensions at the border, the physical border as well, too. So again, uh, this remains to be an issue. San Diego on the forefront of watching and seeing this happen again with both the ocean as well as that physical border with Mexico right there on our doorstep. And of course, if we do hear any more word on whether more apprehensions have been made with these two groups specifically, we'll be sure to update you both here as well as at CBS8.com. Eric and Netta. All right, Chris Grow on top of that for us. Thank you. This morning, the Sheriff's Department investigating after two deputies were arrested after a bar fight. The UT reporting this happened Saturday in Ramona. The deputies were off duty when they were arrested on suspicion of public intoxication. They were then released on Sunday. They're now on paid administrative assignment. Last week, another deputy was arrested on suspicion of bringing drugs onto jail property. And last month, another deputy arrested on suspicion of stealing drugs from prescription drop off locations. This morning, we're now learning a 20 year old Marine died in a car crash in Oceanside. You see how banged up that car is. Authorities say the car veered off the five yesterday morning, tumbling down an embankment, and then it landed near Oceanside Boulevard. Investigators say they do not think alcohol or drugs were a factor. We still do not know the young woman's name, but third Marine aircraft wing officials do confirm that she was a Marine. And the Sheriff's De Department sharing more information about this crash that left a car in pieces in Santee. So we brought this to you as breaking news yesterday. Security video catching the moment that it happened yesterday at Prospect in Magnolia. Look at that truck right there going basically over the sedan. The Ford Focus ran a red light, we're being told, and then a truck plowed right through it, according to investigators. The front half of that car was ripped apart. That driver taken to the hospital now with severe injuries. The truck driver, minor injuries. Investigators say neither drugs nor alcohol believed to be involved in that. New information here this morning. Nothing suspicious was found at San Marcos Elementary School after someone called in a bomb threat. The school was evacuated yesterday afternoon. Authorities searched the campus for hours, but say nothing was found. They're still investigating who made that threat. And now San Diego preparing for an influx of migrants as Title 42 is expected to expire. Now the Biden administration told the Supreme Court the pandemic era policy will end in May. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol joining us live in studio now to explain how San Diego is getting ready to meet the needs of migrants hoping to come to the U.S. Dana Marie. Well, the main concern is having enough resources to handle the influx. Now, the Trump era public health law allowed the United States to quickly deport migrants seeking asylum, and that will soon end, we're being told. Now, we did speak to Council Member Raul Campillo. He says the region will be devoting resources to help these individuals find housing and become stable. The county is working to create a response plan to make sure asylum seekers and refugees do have the resources so that when San Diego is ready, the moment Title 42 is is lifted, they can make those moves. Now it's too soon to know how large of an influx that in, in migrants Sandy it's a, 
migrants will see in San Diego. Excuse me. The city does expect an increase with us being a border town as well as a community that accepts asylums. Now, County member Campillo says other states busing a lot of their asylum seekers to places like California, New York and Massachusetts. Another reason why we might see more of them here in San Diego. Now, Jewish Family Services is leading the effort to shelter migrants here since launching operations in October of 2018. They've served more than 125,000 people seeking asylum. They are hoping other levels of government will step forward to support the situation. We are operating a non congregate hotels um, and are leveraging our, our ability to use an off site location as a day center, if you will, to open up capacity in our hotels. Now, the Biden administration plans to end the COVID-19 emergency on May 11th. There are still court decisions that must be made to allow Title 42 to end. So, of course, we'll keep you updated. Well, if you see bright lights in the sky tonight, don't be alarmed. The Air Force is conducting what it calls a routine test launch in an unarmed Minuteman 3 missile from Vandenberg Space Force Base in Santa Barbara County. Now, there's a good chance the missile's contrail will be briefly visible from San Diego. That launch window is from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. And here we are at 6.07 talking about what's going to be the warmest day of the week. I'm excited to feel the feels. <laughs> yeah, right? I know. I want to head to the beach this afternoon because yeah. it is going to be comfortable out there. Mid-70s in the afternoon high. Uh, we're looking at chance of making it toward 80 degrees for some of your inland valleys. Very comfortable. Looks like temperatures are trending about 10, in some cases closer to 15 degrees warmer than average. It's 6.07 on the clock. We are still cold out there. The jacket can definitely help you out to start off the morning. Maybe not quite as uh, warm of a jacket as what you've normally had on, as most of our coastal temperatures are in the mid and upper 40s to kick off the day. We'll be in the 50s very quickly, past sunrise in about a half hour, and then we'll slowly climb into the 60s and 70s. 70s, though, are expected as early as 10 30 11 a.m. in some of your valleys wind advisory is going to take effect it actually already took effect seven minutes ago it'll last all the way through 6 p.m. on friday with speeds 15 to 25 miles per hour and gusts up to 50 miles per hour that's for your inland valleys and your mountaintops but we're all going to feel that wind out there forecast shows we're pretty comfortable again toasty in some cases mountains are going to stay still in the upper 50s maybe a couple low 60s out there deserts in the mid 70s with a few clouds right now our winds are mainly coming from the east northeast i should say you can see how there's more of a northerly component coming toward the coastline right now, but by the time the afternoon really comes about, we're going to pick up on mainly that, that easterly flow, and right now East County is picking up on the most intense wind gusts. Looking at the five-day forecast, today and tomorrow are those standout days, notably warm. will cool down as a trough of low pressure sinks in for the weekend. That will increase cloud cover. It will switch up that wind to onshore flow, so we'll instead start to see that cool, humid air pick up along the coast. And uh, we even have that chance of showers for Saturday into Sunday. Drying out for Monday, temperatures start to kind of rebalance themselves into the low 60s. Here's a look at where your temperatures are walking out the door right now. Again, some spots are already in the 50s. Del Mar right now at 51 degrees, but otherwise most of your coastal communities are in the 40s. Let's take a look at traffic as we start off the day and see how things are shaping up. Uh, right now, doesn't look like much is going on out there. We earlier saw a crash that was on the 8. Now I want to zoom into a stall vehicle that looks to pop up just around the South Park area. Looks like that is on the 15 southbound at Market Street lane blocked with a stalled vehicle. Again, not causing any major backups or delays right now. We'll zoom in uh, to that area a little bit more and you can see how there's a little bit of orange leading up to it, meaning a little slower in some cases, but volume is still very light out there on the 15. Uh, CHP is on scene as well. Back to you. Thank you so much, Evan.